Hello friends, today we're making beer macarons. They are super fun to make. I made them for Father's Day, but I'm just getting around to posting the video now. So they're perfect for Father's Day or any summer celebration. And you can grab the template to pipe your own beers on my blog, paisintacos.com. I'm gonna put a link down below in the description box. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Add sugar and egg white powder. The egg white powder is completely optional. If you don't use it, don't change anything else in the recipe. Add egg whites to the sugar and whisk until the sugar has completely melted. It should take a couple of minutes. You can test by touching the mixture between your fingers and if you don't feel any sugar granules, you can remove it from the heat. Then transfer the syrup to the bowl of an electric mixer. Begin whisking on low and then gradually start increasing the speed to medium. And then you can finish whipping on medium or medium high. Whip until the meringue has formed stiff peaks. The peaks should be shooting straight up and not bending down to the side. Now pour sifted powdered sugar and almond flour into the stiff meringue and start folding with a spatula. Fold just until you see no more dry ingredients in the meringue. As soon as that happens, stop stirring. And then divide the batter between two different bowls. Work with one bowl at a time, leaving the other one covered meanwhile. The first batter, we're going to add some gold food coloring and also some yellow food coloring. And stir until the perfect consistency is achieved. The batter should be flowing off the spatula slowly and effortlessly. And you should be able to draw several figures with the batter that's flowing off the spatula. Once the yellow batter achieves the perfect consistency, transfer it to a piping bag fitted with a number 6 Wilton piping tip. Secure the top with a tie so the batter doesn't escape while piping and to keep the batter from drying while you work with the remaining batter. Now it's time to work with the second batter. To this one I added white powder food coloring. You can leave it plain without any food coloring or you can also use gel white food coloring instead. Stir until the perfect consistency is achieved. Like I've explained before, the batter should be flowing slowly and effortlessly off the spatula. And then transfer it to a piping bag fitted with a number 4 piping tip and secure the top with a tie. Time to start piping. Place the templates with the beers on a baking sheet and then place the silicone mat or parchment paper on top. First we're going to pipe the yellow area by going around the edges of the template and then filling up the middle with batter. Give the tray a couple of taps to help the batter spread out and smooth out. You can also use a toothpick to pop any remaining air bubbles. Now we're going to pipe the white foam on top and the mug handle using the white batter. And then again you should tap the tray against the counter or against the palm of your hands to release any air bubbles and use a toothpick to help smooth out any bumpy areas. And also, make sure to pipe the beers in reverse so that they can match up later and form the cookie sandwich. Let the macarons sit for about 20 to 40 minutes until the batter feels dry to the touch. That's when you can bake. I baked my macarons at a 325 Fahrenheit oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now let's make the beer buttercream. Beat the softened butter in the bowl of an electric mixer for about 2 minutes. With the mixer off, add the powdered sugar and mix on low to combine. Now 
Then add the beer. Continue to whisk until you see no more streaks of dry powdered sugar. And then raise the speed to medium or to medium high and continue to beat for another minute. At the end, you can add vanilla extract and mix to combine. I forgot to add vanilla extract when I was filming this, but I do call for it in the recipe. Then transfer the frosting to a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. Pipe some of the beer buttercream on the bottom of the macaron shells and then top with another macaron cookie. Now we're going to put some yellow food coloring in this little bowl and add a little bit of water to dissolve it. And we're going to use a brush to paint the macaron shells. First we're going to make two straight lines in the middle. And then we're also going to paint around to give it a little bit of a textured effect and a very nice color on the shells of the macarons. Now to decorate the shells, we're going to use some royal icing. I have the full recipe for the royal icing on the blog. The link is going to be down below in the description box. It's super easy to make. Place the royal icing in a piping bag and pipe on top of the foam part of the beer. Let the shells rest in the fridge until the royal icing has completely dried and the macarons have matured for at least 24 hours. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. For the full recipe and for the templates, you can go to my blog, paisantacos.com. The link is going to be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!